All right, let's be honest. We knew this shit was coming. Over my last eight vids, I've alluded in a way that this was a possibility, but I never made a point to say it because fuck negativity. But the fact that Slow Clap was doing their best Charlie Chaplin impersonation in modern times, it made us start to be like, yo, what's up, dog? Where you at? Kind of like the old Boost Mobile commercials. What was great though in this trailer was that they gave us more info about how the aging system works. So y'all see this shit? They have clarified that the way it works is whatever amount of times you croak, that's the amount of years that gets added on to your age. So like this, the first time, it's just two years, which concludes that it was the second time they got clapped. The third time, three years are added. The fourth time, four years are added. And you see 49 went to 54? Yep, you genius you, you guessed it. It's the fifth time they got clapped, so five years gets added. Now the true question is, what's the cap? Aside from telling us that Sifu was coming out in 2021, <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Personally, I believe they will have a set age cap, like in the 80s, maybe possibly before that in the 70s. But I also feel as though they would give you the option to make your own age cap, to give you a choice of how difficult you want it. They might let you choose a cap at 54 or 58 or 70. Y'all know what I'm saying. Obviously, there will be a capped age in which you can't go beyond it, even in your own customization. But don't sleep. In a lot of Eastern culture, martial arts, movies, slash shows, there's always a teacher or a sifu who is quite old and they're still whooping everybody's ass. Clearly, we'll have to wait and see. But I'll tell you what I didn't know was that fucking Assassin's Creed was making an appearance in here. I mean, I guess we kind of knew, but I thought the main character would be climbing up scaffolding or construction or something of that nature. I didn't peg scaling walls like Spider-Man, but it's lit regardless. Actually, it's even more lit, to be honest. Now I am curious about this fight club scene. Now, will this play a role? Because they beat this assailant down, which is ironic to say the least, but hey, whatever, I digress. It actually seemed more like a training ground for them, not for us. For us, it's the kill box, which makes Sifu Iron Man 2, y'all Tony Stark, and me, Don Cheadle. And y'all get to be the billionaire in the analogy. They'll never say I don't love you. Of course, that means Slow Clap is Marvel, and Paul Emile Bouchel is John Favreau, the director, not the actor. But it is what it is. And the point is, this trailer was fire. And every time they make a new trailer now, I just keep thinking, this game is going to be better and better than my initial thoughts. And this right here... It's facts only. That was easily the sexiest way I've seen a game company announce a delay. No bro. Usually we get some kind of statement on Twitter or something like that, but they gave us a whole trailer. That was even more fire than the last trailer, which was more fire than the trailer before that. Yeah, I get where I'm going. All I'm saying is, it's all good. I appreciate them letting us know about the delay, and I'd rather them delay it than give us something that wasn't what they wanted it to be, which means it's going to be something that we want it to be. So, I'm hyped. Now we got a little bit more time to get hyped. Y'all let me know your thoughts on the new trailer, on the delay, down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and join the Afro Pirates. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next vid, alright? Peace. Can you play that again?